first we're gonna solve this problem here that deals with the square root of these two numbers okay so the first thing that we need to see is this one is this one true can this one be true okay the before doing so uh, we can talk about something like this if a is greater or equal than zero and b is greater or equal than zero because we have the square root and it's defined only for these numbers the positive numbers okay can this one be true uh, it's not true in general it's not true okay there are particular cases when this one is true but in general this is false to see why let's take a 9 and b is 16. we have a plus b is 25 and therefore the square root of a plus b is the square root of 25 which is 5 and square root of a plus the square root of b is square root of 9 plus the square root of 16 which is 3 plus 4. so that means 5 is equal to 7. if these two if if the square root of a plus square root of b equal to square root of a plus b we should have this one true okay but this is not true that means this is false okay to see if we can have this one assume that we have this one given that a and b are defined in this manner assume that we have this result so since both of them are positive everything here is positive we can take the we can square everything so here we have the square root of a is equal to square root of a plus square root of b so let's square everything so squaring everything we have this left side is going to be uh, on this one here the right side is going to be square root of a plus square root of b squared so this left side is going to be a plus b and this one is going to be a plus b plus 2 square root of a b okay so therefore okay adding a plus b to both sides we get 2 square root of a plus b and dividing by 2 we get square root of a b equals 0 okay so this means that if we square again that a b is 0 that means here a is 0 or b is 0 okay so when we have when b is zero or a is zero we, we have this result this is true but in general when both a and b are different from zero and positive this is not true at all and this gives an example of the why it's not true okay in fact if uh, uh, this one is true so instead of walking this side something like this we can walk here and get the same thing okay but this is not true because it's counter in, uh, counterintuitive and it's algebraically false okay so in general this is not true at all okay for any values of a and b except when one of the values is zero so we have this one too so but in general this is false oh, and this shows why thank you